what is up guys so we are going to be attempting attempting to compile this for my obs attempting okay i've never done this before so i'm going to open up the terminal because the terminal's our best friend as i say in all my videos do not be scared of the terminal we're going to do a git clone and we're going to do recursive just for the hell of it not resurface uh, recursive and we're going to paste this in then we're going to cd into obs v capture and what i'm going to do is sudo dnf build depths obs studio no is that the wrong one uh dnf install all right see i've only ever copied this i've never actually fully done it so we have everything we need installed for it to work build depth is it build depths or build it is build depths okay um let's try vk capture oh nope. all right so we're good on that one let's hit clear and what it says to do is it needs cmake Vulcan EGL. I think we have all of that. So make dir. Make dir is make directory. We're going to call it build. Then we're going to do these two symbols and CD build. Okay. And to really put this in, we are going to, of course, split the screen. And because I don't want to fully type this one out. Oh. So we are missing lib obs so sudo dnf install lib obs it's not there let's try this and it's only giving us comp whiz so no so a few people have asked how do i find certain rb rpms right and rpm find is what I usually do. So it's right there. And OBS repo uh, lib repositories are right here. And we want to grab not this one. That's still Fedora 41. There's no difference between the two. So we're going to grab this one. I'm going to open up file. It's not doing anything. Open. Pain in the ass sometimes. I don't like Nautilus as much as I should. And it's already installed. So it's called OBS Studio Libs. Pseudo DNF install OBS Studio Libs. Apple? No. Maybe this? Is there any type of extra thing that we need? No, they're both installed already. Look. So why is it saying it needs it? What version does it need? It's right there. Hmm. Acquired by virtual world not found. Isn't that a bit weird though? How it says it's there, but it's not there. Is the version on this newer than this? It is not. So maybe I need to compile it to be able to get it done, which is a pain in the butt. Because originally I avoided compiling all of that of OBS itself in the first place. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to compile OBS to get this done. And that in itself is super difficult and annoying. Oh my. OBS, not you, not you. Studio compile. We got build instructions here. And there's a lot of instructions that don't really help anybody at all. Have you noticed this? It's kind of silly. Their GitHub is usually out of date. OBS Studio GitHub. And there we go. All right. So the build instructions are right here. Done. And then we're going to be building OBS on Linux. And we're going to be heading down here. You can see that there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's the Red Hat based. So Red Hat itself. And 
The door is right here. Now, if we copy this and we hit enter, it's actually going to function this time, which is good. Hopefully, it has everything inside of it. Let me see. It does not. It's missing something. All right. So, we're once again going to do a gahoogle. Yep, like that. And I need to find, uh, F, oh, it's right there, or Fedora, because these are needed. So we need to install this, Fido, DNF, install you. And we also need to find RN noise. So... RN noise Fedora, it's right there. And we want the, the devil package, so sudo dnf install. I think this is the one. Yes, it is. And I believe that should be it. That should be all that we need. We can now literally just copy and paste this in here, and it should do its thing. Oh, wait, we screwed up. Oh. Did we? Did we just screw up? No, we did not. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I was worried quick there for a second. Uh, we are missing... Yeah, I missed one more. It's, uh, where is it? This hash thing? The UT hash? Yeah, that's also a big problem. They should be updating their dependencies. So the one we want is right here. We're going to copy that. sudo dnf install view. And yes. So it was at this part right here. So I pressed up on the keyboard, by the way. Ah, uh, okay. All right, all right, all right. We're going to CD out. We're going to remove. Uh... RF that removes a folder and OBS Studio is what we're removing and then we're just going to copy and paste this all again because this is just supposed to work I can understand why most people don't do this because it's a pain in the butt but having Vulcan Capture sort of <clears throat> does a bit more for you and it should hopefully be found which it is. Good. Yes, it's building. It's building. Uh, this might drop FPS, but we are using my GPU, so I don't really know. Oh, yeah. It's now 11 FPS for you just a second ago. Yeah, we're dropping 1 FPS. Wow, look at it go. So there's a lot of advantages to compiling the Git version of OBS. There might be a, bit, a few bugs, but it means you're able to compile other parts of OBS as well because you're compiling libobs and all the dependencies needed for other things. I, I didn't think I was going to be doing this in a video, if I'm going to be completely honest. I didn't. So again, compiling things depends on your cores and your threads. All right. So that, in a nutshell, it compiled really fast for me. It might compile a lot faster or a lot slower for you or a lot faster. Okay, so if you have a thread ripper and you're compiling this, it would be done so much faster. All right. And it's installed. Now we have a new version of OBS installed while we're currently recording with the older one. Yay. Now we're going to CD out. So just typing CD brings you back to your home folder. We're going to CD OBS VK Capture. And we're going to go back to that, which I believe is this one right here. And we're going to run this command. Oh, yeah, we also have to CD into the build directory. Keep forgetting that. Hey, look at that. It did it. That was pretty simple, right? And now all we have to do is make... And if you want to make quick, you could just do 
J24, so that's the number of threads that I have. And make, make, install. So, oh, this right here. And done. Except it's not. File could not copy. Denied. Yeah. This is one of the problems. Oh, that is not a thing. I uh, sometimes have bad days where I can't type properly. There we go. Now we have the Vulcan capture. So I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to exit out of this version of OBS, and then we're going to go back into it, into the new version I just finished compiling. So the one that I currently have is 30.1.2, and we're going to see if that number changes. All right, so we are back, and as you can see, we now have a higher number. That is what you know when it's the git, all right? And if we right click here, we should have the Vulcan capture somewhere. We have a lot less options because, well, the version that came from Nabora has a lot more stuff. I don't really see it anywhere. Hmm. Where's our game capture too? Yeah, well, I just wanted to make a video compiling this. And I guess I did that, which is nice. Uh, add game capture to your OBS. You could do that. Start game capture enabled. All right, that works. And look at that. It has settings for it. So it seems like I already had it before, which was nice. But yeah, it's good to be on the newest version instead. Hmm. Oh, well, I'll just put the other one back. Anyway, uh, this was on my list of things to do to compile OBS, and you saw me do that. I also do this to keep a record of things that uh, I compile because I want, you know, that written down because it helps other people. So, you know, if this helps you out, if you're learning how to compile OBS on Fedora 40, uh, here you go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video. Stay tuned for more Linux videos. I have a lot uploaded, in fact, that I will be releasing some tomorrow and some today and you know other days i'm going to try to spread them out a little bit more so i'll see you guys next time